Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my stream on Thursdays where we do kind of whatever I want. Today we're going to play some Final Fantasy X, but before that, hi, welcome Jane. Oh my gosh, you got first today. Welcome, so happy to have you here. <laughs> um, I have also a little bit of an announcement today, a little bit of a thank you. Um, Lunar, I know, is still at work, but I just wanted to show this off. Uh, she got me something off of my wish list, and uh, it's gorgeous, y'all. I have to show you. Okay, it comes in this box, right? If you've looked at my wish list before, you probably know what this is. Hey, there you are! I was just talking about your gift. We're about to open it up so I can show everybody. Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh, it's all the Eevees in pin form! So I'm going to be sticking these um, back behind me so you guys will see them every stream going forward. I'll do that after today. So for those of y'all that don't know, this isn't my wall behind me because it's actually a curtain. It's actually a curtain, see? <laughs> so I can stick stuff in it very easily. Um, you know, all of these things, they're, they're on pure from the curtain. So uh, Lunar got me this. It's been on my wish list for a while. I think they're so cute. And y'all know I love the Eevees. Um, and Lunar is a fellow Eevee lover as well. So here we go. Let's do a let's do a shout out. So for y'all that don't know, in addition to just being overall awesome on my streams, Lunar also streams. And if y'all are not following her, you absolutely should. Okay, it looks like she last played ah Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. So yeah, Lunar is a big fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, she also uh, has I've seen her stream Animal Crossing recently, and uh, she loves wolves and pizza and Taylor Swift. Yes, yes. Um, I, as y'all know, I tried on Halloween to play a horror game. I can't do horror games. I can't do them by myself. Why well, I thought I could do one on stream, I don't know, but I was wrong. I cannot. But I love watching other people play horror games. So, <laughs> if y'all are like me, then you should definitely check out Lunar's stream. She loves Five Nights at Freddy's. So, if you, and I know because of your work schedule, Lunar, I feel like I miss a lot of your streams because I'm already sleeping. <laughs> But I try to catch any of Loser Lunar streams that I'm awake for. So that's that about that. All right, let's get into some Final Fantasy, y'all. Here we go. Let me turn up the volume. Come on, Twitch, find the game. There we go. Now y'all can see. Of course, happy to do it, Lunar. I think everybody should be following Lunar. Lunar is one of my streamer friends that's like a really good, really talented streamer, and I think that everyone should be following her. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub, Alpha Tiff. Oh great, Alpha Tiff has a has a sub now. That's awesome. Yeah, she totally does. All right, so if y'all remember last time, um, we were going to go talk to Micah, and I had stopped because this is a really long cutscene, <laughs> um, and we didn't have time last time. So now we're gonna we're gonna watch this. We're gonna talk to Micah. We're gonna figure out what the hell we're supposed to do about sin now at this point um that we don't have unalaska and therefore uh there's no way to make more aeons so infidel man don't these guys ever give up you regret showing your face here we'll strike you down in the name of yevon <sighs> blah 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 yeah so guys if they want to fight let's give them one prepare to charge Stop! Captain? Lady Yuna is not to be harmed. She's no traitor. That is an evil rumor spread by the Albed. What? Maester Micah himself told me. Then what are we to do? Stand down! As she says. What was that about evil Albed? I... truly, I do not understand it myself. Oh, Yevon seems to be in a state of confusion. Why, yesterday, they called me out of the blue and made me captain of the guard. <laughs> Short on believers? Yes, the chaos in the temples is worse than I'd imagined. It's horrible. And all the priests do is blame each other. Wow. I worry what will become of Yevon. But no! Thank you for the follow! I must be the rock Lockers. that stands against the swirling tides, right? <laughs> Lady Yuna, 
I must tell you, your courage has been a great inspiration to me. Yeah, that's great, but we came here to see Maester Micah. Is he here? Uh, yes, uh, I shall arrange an audience. Please wait in the courtroom. Hey! Hey! Wait! What was all that about the Abed lying and stuff? Simple. Yuna has become Micah's only hope. Okay. Just what does he think he can get away with? Time to teach him some manners. Yes, let's. Why are you here? You must go and defeat Sin quickly. You have obtained the final Aeon from Unaleska, have you not? Nope. Well, we did meet her. <laughs> we fought and defeated her. What? Summoners and guardians will be sacrificed for the final summoning no more. You have profaned and subverted a thousand-year-old tradition. Fools! Infants! Do you realize what you've done? You've taken away the only means of calming sin. Hey, maybe that's not the only way. We think we've got another. Why? Preposterous! There is no other way! The Grand Maester running away? Spira has lost its only hope. Destruction is inevitable. You Yevon's spiral of death will consume us all. I have no desire to watch Spira die. It won't die. Who is this Yu Yevon guy? Lady Unaleska also mentioned him. Wait, Gramps! Who's Yu Yevon? He who crafts the souls of the dead into unholy armor. An armor called Zen. Clad in it, you, Yevon, is invincible. And the only thing that could have pierced that armor, you have destroyed! That's right, we did. Nothing can stop it now. Wow, he's so tied with old traditions, he just decided, time to die, I'll send myself now. Bye, y'all. Ah, disappear on us, will you? Rotten son of a chupa! Where... where is the Grand Maester? He, uh... Don't know how to tell you this, Shalinda. He's not here yet. How long must we wait? That's odd. Uh, I'll go look for his grace. Check the far plane. It's you. Come to my room. Okay. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, no one. I must go see the Faith. <laughs> I see. I realized I forgot to put on my ears. Here we go, fix that. Hello. I must thank you for the Aeon. So okay. what's up? So, have you found a way to truly defeat Sin? Well... Yes, I well, think so. Defeat you, Yevon. We fight you, Yevon. Yes. If you defeat you, Yevon, it will end. Tell me, what do you know about you, Yevon? He's what makes Sin come back. Sin is his armor. It protects him. Yu Yevon was once a summoner long ago. He was peerless. Yet now he lives for one purpose, only to summon. He is neither good nor evil. He is awake, yet he dreams. But maybe not forever. Yeah, that's right. Because we're ending it. 
Yes. Even if you defeat Sin with the final summoning, Yu Yevon will live. Yu Yevon will join with the final Aeon. He will transform it into a new Sin. Yu Yevon merges with the Aeon. Then, protected by this new Sin he has created, Yu Yevon continues the summoning. For eternity, huh? But you know there is no such thing as eternity if you end it, is there? That's right. Uh-huh. Yu Yevon lives inside Sin. Yuna, listen. When you fight Yu Yevon, we will help you. Promise me you'll summon us. I'm afraid your swords and magic won't be enough. Mm. Please call us. Promise? Yes. But you know, when it is all over, we will wake and our dream will end. Our dream will vanish. I don't know what that yeah. means. You've been dreaming a long time, haven't you? I'm sorry. I'm grateful. Oh, this is so nice. About what? Oh, nothing. Hey, don't make that face. Come on, we're gonna beat Sin. Uh, let's see some cheer, okay? You're hiding something. No, I'm not. Really? You're a bad liar, you know? I... I'm afraid the Grand Maester is nowhere to be found. It's okay, we were just leaving. Oh, I see. Hey! Maybe you could help us with the hymn. Hey, good idea! It's like... We need you to tell as many people as you can. What should I tell them? A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith. When they hear it, we need everyone to sing along. Everyone in Spira! I'm not sure I understand. You don't have to. Just tell everyone. Spread the word. A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith? So... When they hear it, everyone should sing along, correct? If they do, we might be able to defeat Sin. Truly? Yes. That's wonderful. You can count on me. I shall tell all of Spira. Thanks, Shalinda. You're a real one. All right. Now, let's explore this airship. I must admit, I was worried at the beginning, but you've done well. Thanks, Oren. You know what, Katie? You're exactly right. That's how we're going to defeat Sin, by spreading Christmas cheer for all to hear. We'll be bringing a new calm, one that will last forever. That's the idea. My pop says he's got a special surprise for Sin. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, that's okay, brother. All those teachings. What were they for? Well, that is the question, Yuna. The answer's probably not so comfortable. There's something I want to say before the fight. I... Uh, I guess I didn't know anything about the Albed. Didn't know anything. Didn't want to listen to anything. I was a big jerk. So, I... Well, uh... I'm sorry, huh? Please forgive me. Don't let it bother you. Hey, I'm guilty of hating those darn Yevonites myself. Well, there's a lot of folk in this world. Some of them good, some of them bad. That's all there is to it. 
Aw, Sid's trying so hard to be nice to walk after he's been, like, so super racist. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> yes, this is Walka's very best. <laughs> Uh, all right, so while we're on the airship, we're going to actually do some Blitzball recruiting because that's one of the side quests we need to do is play a lot of Blitzball. So we're going to get Brother here. Yes, I want to sign him. Yes. And I, I never played more than just the required game so far on when stream. This is all so. over, we'll help you look for your Xanarkin. Oh, thanks, Waka. But um, we're going to play some more. We're going to play some more today. Yes, I do want to sign Waka. Okay, let's go ahead and save. I definitely don't want to be repeating that cutscene. All right. <laughs> He's grown, okay? He started out very racist, and now he realizes that that was a wrong thing to, to be. And um, he was taught wrong by Yevon, who's now failed all of them. So he's he's gone through he's gone through quite a lot. He started out as a very religious racist, and now he is um, an apostate who's trying to better himself. You keep walking path forward, Kimari. Watch the rear. Thanks, Kimari. Lady Yuna has become quite the summoner. A gentle nature, yet strong as steel. She reminds me of her parents. Yuna's old man was a priest of Yevon, but he married in Albed, huh? Lord Braska wanted peace between his people and ours. He would occasionally visit the home of those days. So that's how he met Sid's sister? They ran off together, into the night. Hmm, <laughs> sounds like love. Wow, Sid must have been furious. Yes. He wouldn't talk to her after that. But when Yuna was born, they made up again. His sister took off for home at once. But then her ship. Sin. That incident turned Lord Braska down the summoner's path. Everything leads back to Sin. But you put an end to it. With a vengeance what we're going I for. I pray for your success. Can y'all hear that? That's Lady Vox's little meows. She's on the wrong side of the microphone, so I don't know if it's picking it up or not. All right, we're going to recruit Rin, too. Yes, Katie. All right, so we're going to let some of these um, crappy players go. So we're going to let Dotto go uh, to get Rin instead. Um, now, down here... We go down here. There's a bunch of the Albed Sykes players, so you can get you can recruit some of these guys too. But to do it, you either have to wait until their contracts run out, which I'll show you. It's like a lot of games. So you can see, um, Judah is contracted for ten games. Um, so you have to either wait ten games or reset all your Blitzball data to to get them if you want them. So we're not going to do all that. But they're really good players if you if you want to get some of those. Aww. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we caught that too. Uh, she moved. I did have her like situated so she would be on camera if someone wanted to do the um, the baby cam, but she decided it's time to move. Oh no, Jane. Well, you better take Kitty outside. All right. Let's see what some of these guys have to say. Oh, I can't read the subtitle. Box, you gotta go sit in your spot. There's so much to buy. So, oh, there's so much to buy, so do not be shy. Okay, thanks. If you are prepared, then we can attack Sin at any time. When you battle with Sin, I will be singing too. Thanks. I'm glad you made it back from Vavel. They didn't welcome us last time, that's true. The kitty is on your foot and you want to touch it, then you might be a president? 90s reference. I don't know this reference, Katie, I'm sorry. Although I was around in the 90s. Will the people of Spira listen to the call and sing for us? We'll have to find out. 
Many of our friends died in the attack on home. Never will I forgive the temples. Well, you don't. You shouldn't have to. We're through some serious trauma because of them. Oh my god. She wants what's on the screen. You can also go up here. There's nothing up here right now. I can't see what's going on, lady, when you do that. I know. I know the screen is very exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> you can go out here and you can walk around on the on the top of the airship while it's flying around. There's nothing out here at the moment. I just think it's really cool that you can come out here at any time that you want. That is really neato. <laughs> she wants what's on the screen. Yeah, Final Fantasy always has some amazing designs, Katie, and the airship is no different. It's a really cool, it's a really cool thing. Um, I don't know who did the concept art for the airship for for this game, but it does look really cool, and I love the color palette that they chose. It's like purple and red and blue. Um, I find it really beautiful. All right. She's trying to catch Titus on the screen. Oh, I actually did want. May I help you? Yes, I want to sell you some of these weapons that I'm not using. Oh, I can't see, Vox. I cannot see. Go sit in your bed. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I need... Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I don't need no HP scroll. Don't need that. Don't need that. Definitely don't need that. What are you doing? Stop messing with that. Please don't need that. Don't need that. So many switch hitters. Oh my gosh. Don't need that. Dark strike on Lulu's weapon is pointless. Don't need any of that. Fire strike on Yuna's weapon similarly pointless. Let's keep zombie touch. Don't need MP stroll. That's good. Don't need any of that. We'll keep the Tetra ring. Need water ball. Okay. Thank you. Your patronage. You're welcome, Rin. Okay. Let's sort our stuff. Stuff, lady. Oh, oh. She almost fell. <laughs> there we go. It's okay. I caught you. Okay. All right. All right. Next, we are going to hit up Guado Salon because there's a scene I want y'all to see there and a couple of things we can get. The final showdown with she. I say let's get this show on the road. Okay, Sid. <clears throat> We're also going to get a Blitzball player there. So we can play a game of Blitzball. Yeah! We're gonna Here get we a go. better goalie than Keepa. All right. Why are you in Guado Salam? What business have you here? You want to start something? Uh, if it would please you to harm a defenseless old man, then burn me, boil me. It matters not. <laughs> huh? Lord Seymour is gone. No lord rises to take his place. Oh no. The Guado merely wait for sin to come and finish us off. Why That's should I care this. what you do to me? No. Oh, oh. If it meant rejoining Lord Jiskel and Lord Seymour, then your taking off my head would be the greatest kindness. That's so dark, Trommel. Stop it. It's still okay to live without your leaders. There's more to you than that. None may enter this lordless manor. Okay, so I guess I cannot go in there. I think the lady that I want, the Blitzball lady I want, is in here. Is that her? I think that might be her. Yes. No? It's not. I want Yuma Guado, not Pa Guado. Doggy. Must be in the other house. <clears throat> Yuma, Yuma, Yuma. Where are you? Is it 
That must be her. That must be her. Yeah, Yuma Blonder. There we go. Yes, I want to sign you. Um, and let's let go of Lada. It's not very good. Okay. All right. Hang on. Y'all seeing this? Y'all seeing this? This craziness? She can go find her sister. No play. All right. Anyways, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Let's go up to the far plane. We've got some craziness happening there, too. We have no intention of fighting you, for we know that we cannot win. Well, that's true. She wants attention all the time. Either that or she's sleeping. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just destroy my sad. It's cool. <laughs> Kitty cats are so lucky. They're cute. Oh, what's Lulu doing up here? No one there. She's not appearing. Who is it? None of your business. Sorry. <sighs> no, it's not your fault. Why aren't you here? Who is Lulu talking about? So weird. Looks like Trommel's up here too. When Lord Jiskel was alive, the Guado knew prosperity and honor. But now, we Guado wither and crumble. I myself could have done more to stop this. Oh yeah, that's probably true. Forgive me, Lord Jiskel. Oh, poor guy, racked with guilt. Okay, the reason why you want to come here, not just to watch their scenes, is also to get the Venus Crest. Um, what we are basically going to be working on over the next probably <clears throat> couple of streams is getting the Celestial Weapons. Sorry, my earbud's dying, so I'm switching to the other one. We're going to be getting the Celestial Weapons, which require those crests and a whole bunch of... Um, other things, we are also going to be working on the monster arena. So we gotta get the crests and the sigils and the weapons and put them all together. Panini press? I don't know what I said that sounded like panini press. I'm sorry, Jane. I don't know. I would subscribe if it was butts. I would subscribe for butts, too. Oh, Venus Crest. Venus Crest. Like the planet. <laughs> yeah. Part of Lulu's celestial weapon. We'll be, we'll be working on those over the next couple of streams. The All right. final showdown with Shane. I say let's get this show on the road! So here we go. We've got a couple of secret things that we can get. From the airship so we are going to input some passwords so you can actually do this whole thing with the albed language where you figure out these passwords by looking at the different like um clues that are all over a bunch of areas of spira we saw uh, several of them towards the very beginning of the game um but uh i know what the passwords are so i'm just gonna put them straight in one of them is god hand All right, next one is Victorious. All right, that word is so long, okay. All right, and then there's one more password. It's uh, Murasame. Mm. 
Oh, I must have spelled it wrong. Okay, let's try that again. No. I must have just typed it wrong. I know how to spell it. It's Murasame. M-U-R-A-S-A-N-E. There we go. Okay. Also, you can do this search thing where you can have your cursor and like you're looking for various things on the map via coordinates. So there's a couple of those that we're going to go find as well. So there should be one. Somewhere around here. There we go. Um, next one is. Down a little bit. There we go. There's a couple over in the Sade area, which is down here, I think. Yep. Right. And we've got... Yep. No, it's up here. There we go. VG Nation, thank you so much. All right, let's give you a shout out. Minecraft, oh, oh, you must be part of um, the people doing Twitchcraft. How was it? I was watching um, Moisty do Twitchcraft earlier today. And then there's one all the way over here. There we go. Yeah, ah, oh, very cool, very cool. Okay, so now we have all these new ones here that we just discovered, so we're gonna visit a couple of those. Some of them we're gonna skip for now, but some of them we're gonna go, we're gonna go visit. Yeah, Twitchcraft, so Twitchcraft is this thing that, um, moist goat that's part of the, um, Wolves Den, ah, that, uh, that Discord server I'm always talking about this got, that's like a really good Twitch networking server. Um, that he does, and it's like a modded Minecraft server. There's like a plot line and all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that was Victorious. So Victorious is, I think, Fariku? Yeah, it's an armor for Riku, so you can get um, lightning proof, fireproof, and ice proof on her armor, but I really like the auto med, so I'm not going to change it for now. That's a really good piece of armor for her. The final showdown with Sheen. I say, let's get this show on. Yeah, I never really got super into Minecraft, um, personally, but back when it was like super popular, yeah. getting really super popular on um, YouTube, I did watch a lot of people play Minecraft. And now that, um, you know, Twitchcraft is happening again, of course, I'm watching a lot of the Wolves Den people play Twitchcraft. Murasame. All right, so that's a weapon for Orin. So I'll show y'all. Oh no, Orin's up here. So you can see it's got piercing and one MP cost. So that's pretty dang nice. <laughs> you caught a wild Jane. Oh, I love that game. <laughs> What's up, Oreo? Here we go! Oreo's here meowing at me. You can come up, it's okay. Do y'all remember seeing this chest down here at the very beginning of the game and it was like impossible to figure out how to get? <laughs> this is a weapon for Kimari, I believe. Yes. So you've got magic counter and evade encounter, which is freaking awesome. So he's gonna counter counter all over the place. We definitely want to equip him with that. Final show. Hmm? Oh yeah, we've got two kittens. Go on, yeah, Oreo, you're good. Okay, so Oreo's in the spot now. If anybody wants kitty cam, um, you'll get Oreo probably sleeping. She loves sleeping here while I work. Like I put the cat bed here because she wouldn't stop 
trying to come and sleep on my desk, like all over the place, making a mess. So I put this little bed here, and now that's where she where she sleeps. Yeah, here we go. It is cool. Their ship is really cool. They see me. Hey guys. All right, sonar. So sonar is um. Oh gosh, I can't remember who has this. Maybe Riku? Maybe it's a weapon? For yeah. So it's a weapon for Riku with initiative and poison strike, but I love alchemy, so I'm not going to switch her. Uh-oh. Oreo sees her sister. You want to go play with your sister? Okay. Okay, I'll help you down. Here you go. Go play with your sister. The final showdown. Yeah, Katie, if you missed it, um, we got all the kittens adopted out, we kept two of them, so we kept, uh, Oreo and Dragon, who we renamed to Lady Vox, um, Dragon, you know, Lady, and then Lady Vox, the dragon from EverQuest, and, um, and then the two moms made it to the SPCA. Okay, this is an armor for, uh, Lulu. You can see it's Ice Eater, Fire Eater, and Water Eater, so those will heal her than if she has Eater, so I'm definitely going to equip that for her. No, you got it right the first time. Lady Vox. Vox, like, um, you know, the Latin word for voice. She was, a uh, Ice Dragon raid boss in the original... The final showdown was she. I... Oh yeah, she's real fancy. <laughs> cool kids only, aka me and Jane. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sanubia Sands. We need to go there. Too. Here we go. And this has a really cool weapon as well. Yeah. So this is a um, for Titus, and it's cool because it's double AP, so you get double the experience basically for using that. I think that was the last one. The final showdown was sh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Katie. Yeah, EverQuest was like the popular MMO before WoW came out, pretty much. Um, I mean, all the coolest kids played it, I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, so here we go. We're going to go to the Calm Lands next. That's all the secret stuff. We're going to we're going to come to Baj Temple, Mushroom Rock, and um, maybe we'll eventually do the Omega Ruins. We'll see. But let's go to the Calm Lands. Here we go! Okay. There's... Is it her? Yes, it's her. Nada is another Blitzball player that we're going to get. We're going to sign her. And we're going to kick out Letty. Okay, and now we're actually going to play a game of Blitzball. But before we do, I'm so sorry. I have to go pee. I'll be right back, y'all. Listen to this beautiful Calm Lands music. Gosh, y'all are worse than the kittens. Separation anxiety. I just had to go to the bathroom, y'all. They follow me to the bathroom. No kidding. It's ridiculous. All right, let's play a game of Blitzball. Well, let's actually save first, and then we'll play a game of Blitzball. Yes, I'm back. Don't worry. So to get Waka's um, sigil and weapon, you have to play a freaking ton of Blitzball. Like a ridiculously stupid amount of Blitzball. So, we're gonna play a game, um, because I don't want to try to do it, like, all in one stream. I want to, like, try to slowly build up to it. Okay, so my team is gonna be, I want Titus and Waka as my forwards. 
Grin's gonna midfield. Uh, Neda and Basu on defense, and Yuma as my goalie. Yes. Okay. They don't have... Yeah, that's good. But is there any... Yeah, get Venom Tackle. Alright, Venom Tackle for you too. No mark. Mark. Venom Tackle. Okay, maybe I can get some people to get Venom Tackle, because that seems to be what everyone wants to do. Okay, so... Y'all saw how amazingly awesome I am at Blitzball, I think not. <laughs> so we're gonna do a prediction. Will I win? Come on. Okay. Will I win this Blitzball game? We're gonna give it. We're gonna let the prediction go for two minutes. Start prediction. Okay. Yes, Blitzball. It's not that bad. It's not that bad once you play a few games and level up your players. It's really just a numbers game. And because it's just a numbers game, a lot of times the numbers are not on your side. <laughs> and of course, we're playing the goers first, which is a great team. So that's, you know, wonderful. Uh, we're gonna do formation normal. Hell yeah, boots on. But I recruited those players because they're gonna be better than the, you know, the same, some of the Besaid Orochs I had that are really horrible. Don't tell them I said that. But they were only stuck. Oh, oh shit, there we go. Ha ha ha. I got the ball. More melee. Get it, Kiri! Oh, thank you so much, Katie. Thank you so much. Okay, so. He can break. Yeah, he can break both of those guys. And let's pass. Thank you, thank you for the applause, Tom. All right, pass over to Titus. We're gonna try, we're gonna try, see how it goes. All right, go ahead and break. And then shoot or do a normal shot. No reason to do a jack shot if we're not having a break, extra people. Hell yeah. Got a goal already. Yuma's a very good goalie, so if I can just get a couple of goals, then I should be able to win, because I think she'll be able to basically keep them out. But we'll see. have too many good players. It's not fair. I wish they would have paired me against, like, um, somebody else first. Alright. Do I risk the break? Or do I no break? What is his pass? His pass is only eight. I knew that was a bad idea, but there, the other choice was a bad idea, too. Wow! <laughs> wow, indeed. At least my players can get the ball back, you know? Don't take it this time. She did! Dang it. Oh, yeah. Bliss ball serious business now. Serious business. I don't know how I'm gonna do it with um, getting 
Walker's uh, stuff because, I mean, it's literally like, it's so many sets backwards. I think the shortest that you can possibly do it in is like, okay, yeah, 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 great. And then shoot Walker. Yeah, do a Venom shot. That's a good idea. Um, I think the shortest you can do it in is like 27 games or something ridiculous like that. And that's like the shortest if you do things the most efficient way possible, which I probably will not be doing. So, you know, um, <laughs> we're probably playing at least like 30 plus games of Blitzball to get all the stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I didn't necessarily like set out to do a complete 100% playthrough of this when I started streaming it. I just wanted to set it to complete the game. But I figure we should at least try, you know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see how much, if this is like one of the things that I can actually finish in this game. Or if I get way too bored. Good job, Yuma. See, she's great. She's a wonderful goalie. My team's so inclusive. I have like the save people, I have Guado people, and I have um, Albeds on there too. We're awesome like that. So, we're not going to break, we're going to do a check shot. I just so cool when he does the check shot. Two points. catches every time. Rin's usually pretty good at catching the ball, but I guess because the goers are so good. He just ain't doing it this time. It's gonna be halftime in 30 seconds anyways. Get it, Yuma. Good job, lady. Good job. <clears throat> All right, Walker, just swim around for a few seconds. Or they have time. There we go. Good job. Good job, good job. Yeah, so like in my mind, I figure if I play like a Blitzball game or two um, every stream, then maybe we'll get close to it to where I, I won't feel like I'm playing, you know, just all Blitzball. Um to be able to get Waka's stuff, and then maybe I'll actually do it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm done, because nobody got new techniques. We're gonna keep all those the same. Yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Beat those goers! They think they're hot stuff. Oh, good job, Rin. Good job, good job. That's what I want you to do. Yeah, let's pass it to Titus. Ooh. Does the sound sound funky for you guys? It just sounded weird in my headphones, but I think it might be my headphones. I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna break. And then do a jack shot. Okay, thank you, Jane. It's because it's intense. You know, the first time we played this, like, we're you're so bad. You're so bad, and you can't recruit anybody yet, and all your players are just, like, just the worst of the worst. And um, so, you know, it, when you play it again, after you can do some recruiting, it's kind of like, because <gasps> you feel that. You know, you feel how hard it was at first, but now it's not so hard, right? Because we got some good players this time. Because it's really literally just a math game, so you just got to have higher numbers than the other team. <laughs> <laughs> That's really the whole thing. Um, it's not as complicated as it seems at first when you're first playing. It just feels really complicated because that first game is so hard because um, the numbers are really stacked against you. So you have to, you know, be really lucky and really smart to win that first game. This is cool. We got three points at this point, so there's no way. There's no way we're going to lose. Like, they can't... There's no way that they're going to get three goals past Yuma in the amount of time it'll take to finish this half. 
Good job, Nida. Should I let Nida shoot? She only has a four shot. Why not? Why not? Let's let her shoot. Oh, but she can't break. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna have to no break and shoot, and she's gonna miss. That's okay. We we let her try. We were ahead. You know when you're at we're, when you're ahead, you can let some of your other players that aren't so good at shooting try to get a shot. Good job, Waka. And he scores. Sorry, guys. You beat me. You beat me so bad in that first game. This is payback, okay? That's all this is. It's just like, you know, what goes around comes around. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not that I hate you. It's like, just, this is what you did, and I have to retaliate a little bit. Because that's sports. That's how you do the sports. Dang it. Didn't get the ball back. It's okay. that far back, Crab. Yeah, that was dumb. There's no way you were going to make that, regardless of, you know, whatever goalie I have. Sometimes the AI does really weird things, and I don't really understand why it's doing that. Good job, Jasu. Good job, good job. Are they all chasing me? <laughs> they all chasing me! Alright. Let's let um, Jasu try to shoot. Oh, I get him, Jane. I get him. I get him good. Now they gotta score four goals in like a minute and a half. <laughs> I don't think they can do it. Jesse's a good defender. One of the few Besaid Orox that's actually like really good. Ah, oh, he got Venom Tackle, that's good. Hopefully he can use that next time if we want to. Aw, oh, rude. Drain Tackle me. off to the side <laughs> for no reason. I guess she trying to run out the clock. Time's up. We win! Okay. Let's see. Oh, most people said yes. How nice of you guys. Okay, it looks like mostly Katie said yes and Jane said no. <laughs> That's okay, Jane. I understand. I mean, based on based on previous uh, previous play, you made the safer bet. You didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know uh, how much better we were going to be with those new players. I understand. I understand completely. All right. This gives you like some stats of the. Cause we're doing a lead game. This gives you some stats here of kind of how it went down. You can see Titus is rank one. Sadorx Prince is level one, number of wins one. Fabulous. Back. We don't need to play any more Blitzball. 
We'll play another game next time. Alright, so <clears throat> now let's go run a chocobo because we've got a couple things we need to do here in the calm lands. Oh, uh oh, hang on. Sometimes, so the chocobo lady is supposed to move to right outside there, but sometimes when you first come to the calm, come back to the calm lands, it's not there. I don't know why, um, but if we board, yeah, thanks, Sid. But if you board the airship again and go back, it'll be there. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, a lot of people in this game wear their underwear. I guess it's just kind of how Spirit is. You know, they're free like that. Yes, I want to ride a chocobo. All right, so we're going to go start the Monster Arena side quest. This is one of the major side quests at uh, at the end of the game that we can do. So let's go get it started. Maybe she was getting married. <laughs> yeah, it's her marriage undies, exactly. Her engagement panties. <laughs> uh. This is the training arena that Lord Meehan constructed for the Crusaders. You can hone your battle skills here by fighting fiends gathered from all over Spira. But the fiends all got away because I, um, screwed up. I'm too old to gather fiends now, so I'm in quite a fix. So that's where you come in, Sunny. Can I ask you to round up all of the fiends for me? Of course, I'm not asking you to do it for free. There will be nice, fat rewards. On top of that, you can hone your fighting skills any time against the fiends you bring back here. In addition, any items you win during training are yours to keep for free. But there will be a small fee for each training session, so bear that in mind. How about it? Not a bad deal, eh? You won't regret it. Hope the reward is that sweet, sweet carpet. <laughs> uh, that is a really nice carpet, but no. That's the spirit sun, you know. Go catch all them fiends. But I've got one more warning before I can let you go. To catch a fiend, you have to, do it, you have to defeat it with a special kind of weapon. But not to worry, I sell them to you for a special low price. Also, the Serena can only hold 10 of each kind of fiend. There won't be any bonuses for capturing more, so keep an eye out on your totals. I need you to start by collecting each species in the Calm Lands. I can't reopen the arena without having some fiends, you know. By the way, there's a total of 9 species in the Calm Lands. I'll give you a bonus when you get all of them. Oh, before I forget, you have to use a special kind of weapon to catch them. I'll sell you some at a special rate. No, no, no need to thank me. Oh, that's right, not going to be for free. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's see your weapons. Okay. Yes, we're going to buy all of these. All right. They're all equipped. And that's all. So we got it started. We're going to capture some fiends. Um, I like to do some particular customizations on these, so on Yuna's, Riku's, and Lily's, I'm going to go ahead and put sensor so that I can always know, uh, yes, I can always know, like, the, um, HP and weaknesses and all that fun stuff. And then hurting staff, that also put sensor. We're going to... Um, customize the others too, but just in a little bit, not quite this right this second. All right, let's go back out. Okay, now that started the Monster Hunter side quest. The other side, main side quest we're going to be tackling together over these next several streams is the Celestial Weapons. So these are basically the best weapons in the game for each of the characters. So each of the characters has a celestial weapon and there's three components. We've already gotten several of them throughout the game kind of as we were coming across them. Um, we've gotten crests basically, which are the easiest ones to get. So every celestial weapon has a crest, a sigil, and the weapon itself. Um, and then you have to put those three together to power up the weapon and make it cool and awesome. So the crests are easiest to get the sigils and the weapons themselves are a little bit more difficult, the sigils usually being the most difficult to get, depending a little bit. But before we can do any of that, we have to go get a couple of items so that we have the ability to put the crests and sigils and weapons together so that they can actually do stuff. So we are coming here. This is Remenim Temple. 
We came here and picked up some Albed primers, but didn't really explore it. And we're not really gonna explore it today either. There is still more here, but what we are going to do is get an item called the Cloudy Mirror. It's very easy to get. I will show you guys. And we need this first to start on the Celestial Weapons side quest. Chocobos come to this forgotten temple to test each other's speed and skill. You who are listening to this, you have been accepted as a true rider. It is Chocobo custom that one must have a rider to challenge the champion Chocobo that stands near this sphere. Mount the bridled Chocobo waiting on the opposite side of the temple. Once you are astride the challenger, the race will begin. Okay, so I have to go do a chocobo race. So let's do a chocobo race. Gotta go to the challenger over here. And when all we're trying to do is get the cloudy mirror. We don't have to do anything fancy. We just have to win. It seems to be telling you to ride it. Ride. Mochi. Hey, it has been a hot minute since you've been to the live streams. How's it going? Happy pride. Happy pride for sure. So you guys can see these chests here. I'm going to skip all of them because I'm just trying to win and get the cloudy mirror. So I'm literally just going to try to go to the bottom as fast as possible. But um, those chests do have good stuff. We'll do all that later. I'm just trying to get to the bottom and win to get the cloudy mirror. Hell yeah. Love that exclamation mochi. Oh, you've been watching the VODs? Oh, okay. Oh, good. So you're caught up on everything that we're doing then. Thank you so much. So you see, if you don't try to get any of the chests, this is very easy to win. And we're going to get the Cloudy Mirror. You'll probably want to, if you didn't catch the beginning of the stream, you probably will want to watch the very beginning, like the first 20 minutes or so of the VOD on this one. Because um, we basically watched the scene with Maester Micah and saw all of that. All right, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much for the biddies, Katie, and the baby shark. And nobody said, people haven't played baby shark in a long time. So that was really, that was really fun. All right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's actually, I think it's going to be faster if I walk back out of here instead of getting back on the airship. I always enjoy having baby sharks stuck in my head a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Do, 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 do. Baby shark just like, it just lights up my brain in that very special way that, you know, certain earwigs do. Um, what does the fox say also? super annoying song that I absolutely adore. Um, but yeah, songs like that, I don't know, man. They just get me. They just get me. Okay. So, we are gonna hop down from here. Oh, I didn't mean to get off my chocobo. I meant to jump down. Push the wrong button. Come on. There we go. <laughs> yep what does the fox say is the best my husband hates what does the fox say he kind of sort of hates baby shark too but not as much but he definitely hates what does the fox say he doesn't have the same affinity for annoying songs the way i do speaking of which who's seen the uh new bo burnham special on netflix it's amazing it's full of hits it's so good it's so poignant um, Bo Burnham's only a couple of years younger than me, and he's been on the internet since forever, you know, a content creator and all of that good stuff, so whenever he makes things, I don't know, I just feel like everything that he has ever made speaks to me so specifically at that point in time that he has made it, you know? So, um, yeah, I freaking love Bo Burnham. Anyway, his new special is awesome. I know Bo. Yeah, Bo's good, right, Jane? He's amazing. The road to Bevel is closed. None may pass. Okay. Alright, so you guys remember several, several streams ago, we actually reunited these guys. 
I finally met up with my husband thanks to your help. I can't thank you enough. I was reunited with my wife thanks to all of you. But now my boy is missing. He went into the woods alone. So we reunited them. <laughs> and now their son's missing. But it's okay. I know where he is. He's up this sparkly road right here. It's called the road. It's called the rainbow road. It is the road that you go. Feels like there's something around here, doesn't it? Yeah, there's definitely something around here. I wonder what it could be. Yes. Oh, it's the celestial mirror now. Fabulous, that's what we needed. You found my dad, thanks a bunch. You're welcome, kiddo. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Katie. The stream lag on mobile is awful. Alright, so now we have the celestial mirror. So we use that to put together the celestial weapons. <clears throat> so the first celestial weapon we're going to try to go get... I'm going to go back to the calm lands for this, I think. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's board the airship. The final showdown was... Yeah, Makalania. Makalania is gorgeous. Okay. Let's go back to the calm lands. Yeah! Here we go! All right, so the way that you get Titus's Sun Sigil, the sigils are harder to get than the, the crest. We already have his crest. We got it after we fought Unaleska. Um, then we got the Sun Crest. Well, we got to get the Sun Sigil as well. So the way that you do that is you beat all of these Chocobo minigames. So if you'll remember, several streams ago when we were in the Calm Lands, we did this wobbly Chocobo minigame to be able to ride them. Well, there's a whole list of them. I'm garbage at these, so here's what's up. I found a mod that will let me pause the timer to win. So here you go. This is the mod that I'm going to use. We're going to test it out on stream today. We're going to see if it works and see if I can get the sun sigil. Let's see. Uh, I had it downloaded, but now I don't see it. Hang on, let me re-download it real quick. Sorry, I had it downloaded, I swear, but it was not in the spot that I thought it was supposed to be. Okay, I think I got it re-downloaded now. To make sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think y'all will be able to see it, so I'm just going to open this mod up and I'll just describe to you what it looks like. I don't think you'll be able to see this. Yeah, you can't see it. Okay, so it's just a little window. It says Chocobo Race Timer Freeze, and it says it's supposed to press Shift 1 to get the timer to freeze. So let's play the Dodger one, because we, we have to build up to the one that actually gets his Sun Sigil. So you're supposed to dodge balls. If I play it enough, I actually can beat this one. It's the last one that I have never been able to beat, but um, we're going to test out this mod on the first one to make sure that it works. There we go. Timer says zero. Okay. Okay, the mod works. Okay, fabulous. Oh, I can get the sun sigil, y'all. This will be the first playthrough that I've ever gotten it. <laughs> if we can make this work on the final one. Okay, come on. Go, go, go. There we go. Okay, let's see if she also tells me. Yep. Okay. She says she clocked my time at zero. Oh, it's gonna work, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all, I've never gotten Titus, Titus's weapon because I literally couldn't beat this stupid minigame. Hey, Oreo, what's up? Uh, let's do something else. Thank you so much, Jane. With the power of mods, I can win too. It's just like the fishing minigame in Stardew Valley. I'll skip it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again for this one. 
Okay, it's paused. It looks like it was already paused. This is what would happen to me when I would play this, is like, even if I practice the patterns enough to dodge it, like, it's still just like really hard to get the, to get the time. And you'll see on the final one, we'll do, there's one more mini game right after this one um, that you actually have to do to get the Sun Sigil. So this is almost the last one, there's one more. So here she's saying I completed all the exercise, so now I'm gonna race her, which basically puts everything together. And you'll see you also have to collect balloons. So you have to get, to get this, the Sun Sigil, you have to get a negative time. So you have to collect enough balloons to get a negative time. It's freaking impossible for somebody that is bad at video games like me. So, <laughs> so um, we're gonna use this mod and I'm gonna try to collect, I, I'm gonna try to collect as many balloons as I can and I think that will still get me in negative time. So I think if it'll hit me zero and then I collect the balloons, then I have negative. I think that's how it will work. So, yeah, she's explaining all that. What I just told y'all about how you gotta dodge stuff and collect balloons. Cause she'll like get auto automatically get like all these ones that are on this path but there's still some balloons down here that I can get. Don't hit the birds, because that'll take, oh. Did I do it? Okay, I got more balloons than birds. So I think that means it's going to register me as a negative time. Let's see. Here's your prize. Okay. Unbelievable. That was a per- Yes! Oh! This is my first playthrough I've ever gotten that, y'all. The first playthrough I've ever gotten that. Okay. I quit. I never want to raise chocobos again. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I'm saving my game right now. I'm saving my game right now. Okay. Alright. Now Titus's weapon. Hey, I saw it. I saw the race. You were amazing. I can't believe you won. But you were lucky. I mean, sometimes she's hot and sometimes she's not. Huh. That's cool. You get that little dialogue. Okay, now Titus's weapon is really easy to get. Oh! Hell yeah. Okay, so basically you come back to the Calm Lands and you walk back here and we're gonna find his weapon. But you have to get the Celestial Mirror or it won't unlock for you. With the actual weapons, you have to get the Celestial Mirror first, basically, or wherever they are, you won't be able to. See, Celestial Mary seems to react. Yes, I would like to use it. Bog. That's how you say his, I think. I'm not sure. Alright, so let me show you though. So if this is a celestial weapon, but because I've not done any of the upgrades to it, it has no AP. So if I equip this weapon, I'm not going to get any experience with it. It's really, really crappy right now. So you have to go level it up. So we'll see if we do that this stream. There's a couple more things we need to do in Calm Lands um, before then. Oh, Father, well, give me I need strength. to catch those anyway. So that's okay. Remember, we need to catch one of each of the monsters to get started on that particular quest, so I guess we might as well capture these guys since they decided to fight us right now. 
rude. and use a soft on him. Farewell. Farewell. <clears throat> All right, I've got I've got a little list over here, so I keep track. So let me mark the anacondar off my list. There we go. All right. Then I want to head over here. There's something we need to get over by the um, Cavern of the Stolen Faith back here that we can do Orin Celestial Weapon later. He has like an extra little step to get his for whatever reason. <laughs> you have to go get this rusty sword over here. So we're going to go grab that. There we go. So if we go down here and down this path, there is a sword stuck in the ground that we need to pick up. This is one of the spots in the game where there's like no background music. It's really eerie. Oh, they're really trying to fight me. I'm not fighting you guys right now. I'm just getting this sword and leaving. So stop trying to make this a thing. Okay. There we go. We got the rusty sword. What you got to say, sir? There have been recent sightings of a flying ship. Would it be a new Albed weapon? With their help, we could commence a second Operation Meehan. Oh my god, because that worked so well the first time. I took part in Operation Meehan. I once l left the Crusaders because of that terrible loss, but I couldn't stand just loafing around during a time of crisis. Oh, I understand. Our comrades have gathered from all over to this place where Lady Yokan once trained. Our numbers are still few, but we can't expect too much too fast. With patience, we can rebuild the Crusaders. Don't get me wrong, I used to be a warrior monk, but now I'm a Crusader. Protecting such a corrupt temple simply became ludicrous, so I packed up and left. Wow! I would not like to be famous, Zag Gunner Dog. Thank you, though. Sounds like a, a whole lot of work for a whole lot of nothing. I mean, Bo Barnum taught me that being famous is kind of sad. This land where Lady Yokin trained is sacred to the Crusaders. Lady Yokin was a member of the Crusaders before becoming a summoner. So, uh, going back to the, the new Bo Burnham special, if y'all have not um, watched it, at least go on YouTube and find the uh, Welcome to the Internet song. Oh, it's so good, y'all. It's so good. So good. It captures, like, exactly what the internet has been like this past year. It has, like, this... Okay. It has, like, this instrumental behind it um, that basically sounds like circus clown music if, like, Disney were to write circus clown music. And um, I was talking about this in, uh, in Barber Monger the other day, but somebody made this really amazing uh, comment that it, it basically sounds like a, a Disney villain song. And it totally does. It totally does. Um, so if you love that sort of thing like I do... You have got to go listen to it. Lost, follow me. Oh, I don't know. I'm not lost. I just thought my chocobo would be waiting for me, but I guess not. Okay, well, we'll board the airship again. 
I'm not gonna walk all that way without a chaboka bug. The final showdown. The final showdown was in. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, Katie, you should definitely watch it. It's really, really good. Yeah, here we go. If anyone's on the fence, go watch that Welcome to the Internet song. It's on YouTube. It will sell you. You did watch the new Loki. Oh, I haven't yet. Um, my husband asked if he if I wanted to uh, to watch it or wait until a few more episodes are out before we started it. And of course, I was like, I want to start it now. So hopefully, I can convince him that we should be watching it this weekend. Um, he tends to like to wait. So I don't know why he asked me, because <laughs> I know what he wants to do, um, but we'll see, we'll see. So wish me luck on convincing him that we should go ahead and start it this weekend, because I would like to watch it. Um, I love me some Loki, so, you know, I want to see that. I want to see that for sure. I really enjoyed WandaVision a lot. It was really good. Um, I did not watch uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I mean, at some point I will, but I have not gotten to it yet. All right, so these are Chimera brains. Let's mark them off my list. Okay, go ahead and, I oh know that does half. You want to Thundog it. It's not gonna kill it. Yeah, see, she has that water eater, so he healed her when he did that. That's so cool, right? Loki's better than both based on episode one? Really? Oh. I really liked WandaVision. I mean, it was weird, but like, I liked that, you know? You don't get a lot of um, stuff anymore that's like mainstream like that, that, you know, is, is kind of weird and quirky. So, um, I thought that was really good. It was like nothing else I'd ever really seen before. At least the beginning, right? You know, after like a couple of episodes, it, uh, it became like you know, like anything else, like any other Marvel anything. But the first couple episodes were really good. Um, I really enjoyed them. Oh yeah, that monster is, is extra monster. Super monster monster. So the reason why I'm running around trying to do the monster arena quest for this area in this little area is because this is where the big ones are. So I'm trying to find the big ones. So we already found Chimera Brain and Anacondar. Um, we're looking for a Malboro. Um, hopefully we can find one. Uh, and ogres should be up here. But if we don't find an ogre, then they're also close to where you zone into Makalania. So we'll go up there. And then Kawiro's are the other big ones. It might be up here, but it's probably going to be in the lower corner instead of this upper corner and you know it's totally anecdotal but for whatever reason people say the ogres tend to spawn on these brown patches i don't think that's really true but you know what we're just gonna be superstitious and i'm gonna run around on this brown patch to try to spawn the ogre <laughs> we'll see we'll see if it happens but the uh the bigger monsters tend to be up in this area so that's why i'm up here Come on, something spawn. Little chick. Good job. Good job, lady. Knock all of the ears off of the off of their little post. It's cool. It's cool. Oh boy. She was trying to eat them, so I had to pick them up. Those are not for eating. Those are not for eating. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't tear those up, Lark. Got those for me. 
And she's going for the highest ones now. Let's see if she can do it. She can get pretty high. Look at her. Look at her go. And there, there goes she. Let's see if you can get the last ones, lady. Go for it. They do great with these shows. No, no salt on either of the others. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I hear what you're saying, Katie. Well, I'm excited for Loki, then, if you thought it was better than even both of those. What did you think of the Falcon and Winter Soldier? Words now. Stop. Hey, lady, stop it. Let go. I guess lights are yummy. Oh gosh. Kitty cat wrangler. They're at that age, you know. I mean, they're still like super kitten. Very, very young. And it was playtime, apparently. <clears throat> Alright. Come on, Malboro. Go ahead and spawn. Oh, well, there's an ogre. That's good. Okay, let's get him. We'll get the skulls, too. Oh, don't put me to sleep. That's rude. Oh. See darkness? I see silence. I don't see darkness. Oh, whatever. Winter Soldier is my favorite Marvel person, so I'm biased. Ah. Oh. But trying to be objective felt like action porn. <laughs> Just trying to get from punch scene to punch scene. Well, I mean, if that's your jam, that's your jam, you know? I I totally understand what you're saying. We'll see. Um, that makes that makes it seem like it's probably not my jam, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm sure I'll eventually get around to watching it. Did Kimari attack any people? Let's see Kimari out because I don't think she attacked. Alright. Come back, Lauren, and kill it. Ah, oh, almost. No worry. Booyah. Boom. Okay, let's mark Ogre and Skull off of my list. Oh my gosh, Lady wants back to me. Okay. Alright, Lady, you can come in, but just don't find the cannon. Or eat cords. You're gonna hurt yourself. I say this like she knows English or something. You'll come up here? You can come up here. Alright, we're still looking for a Malboro. I feel like I find those over next to where I got Titus's weapon. So let's run back over there and run around a little by this little ramp. I feel like they tend to be like over here. Oh, am I healed up? Nope. Heal up Lauren. There we go. Because those Malboros are those things that do the bad breath. So they can be really annoying. You are not a Malboro. I'm not bothering with you right now. I'll come back and get capture more of you later. Malboro, Malboro. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the spy will find you? <laughs> Worry about yourself. Yeah, Orin, you tell him. Worry about yourself, Titus. Is 
up, lady. Oh. Don't step on the keyboard, please. Oh, good. Okay, it's nap time. They're gonna sleep in their little bed. Good job. Okay. You can sleep. It's good. Okay, so... We do need all of these guys. These is, this is kind of the weaker group, but this will be all of those weaker ones, then, that we need. No worries. Yeah. Ouchie. Ouchie, that hurts. I'm here. because you'll kill it. See ya. There we go. It's annoying to get those lands. Um, I'm gonna modify my weapons to make some of those guys easier in the future. We're just not quite there yet. Alright. Let's heal everybody. Again, back to hunt for the Malboro. Sometimes you get lucky and you find these guys really easily, but a lot of times you do not. It's very frustrating. So hopefully we can find a Malboro quickly. But I feel like they're one of the rarest ones as far as the fiends that are in this area. Oh gosh. <gasps> Lady Vox is trying to catch Titus again. What are you doing? I get nervous when she does that because I feel like she's gonna like pounce the screen and knock things down. She doesn't attack screens when I'm working. I guess there's not enough movement, but now that I'm playing a video game, she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get all the stuff on the screen. Yeah, that's right. Go to sleep. Malboro? Malboro! Yeah, we found him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's provoke. Hey, you! Over here! That might help. Maybe he'll just attack Titus then. I'm not sure what they do, what Malboros do when you put them on. And let's do a armor break. And we can hopefully kill it quickly. Okay. Well, maybe that helped. Yes, I called. Alright, let's bring Titus back. He's the one who's got the provoke on him. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have taken him out. I'll take care of him. Did I bring you in? I don't remember. And Waka. Just don't bad breath me. Dang it, I knew it was about to bad breath. I knew it! 
This is what makes the Malbros so annoying. Too bad. Could have been worse. Ah, oh, no worries, Mochi. I'm glad you could make it by. And happy Pride again! Happy Pride. Win, yeah? All right. So now we just need to get a Quirrell, which should be down towards the south area. I think we'll be able to find one pretty quickly, and I hope I don't jink, didn't jink myself by just saying that, but they're not as rare as like the Malboros and some of those other ones we just bought. So we just gotta get the Coerol. And then we'll basically have the Monster Hunter side quest started. I should have bleed because it's going to take a while to kill this fire plant. I thought like, ooh, easy group, I'll just kill them real fast. But actually we need to, we need to flee because we got to hit that fire plant a whole bunch of times <laughs> to kill him. Alright, come on, Quirrell. Spawn, kitty kitty. Spawn, kitty kitty. Spawn, kitty kitty. Spawn. Spawn, kitty kitty. There we are. Hell yeah. So when you're doing this, if you concentrate on that top left corner until you get to the point where you've gotten everything except the quirrell and then you can get the quirrell from down here then you're good to go you can get them all very quickly if you don't kind of know that trick then it can be a little frustrating Let them come. because um people definitely will run all around like looking for some of those rarer monsters like the malboro and the um the anacondars and the ogres but if you know where to find them then you know where to find them so, how shall we do this? I'm steal from him, we too. They're yeah. all captured. All right, so for catching them all, now we have the Monster Hunter quest basically opened up. We can go hunt monsters all over Spira, and um, it unlocks a bunch of bosses, basically, that you can fight that are like optional bosses over here. But once you do this first little part, in addition to all of that, you also get a special prize. So let's go get our prize, y'all. Ah, you caught all the fiends of the Calm Lands. Now I can reopen the arena. Oops, I almost forgot. Here's a token of my appreciation for your hard work. I don't know if you have what it takes to open it, though. Don't worry. I have what it takes. I came prepared. The Celestial Mirror seems to react. Yes, I want to use it. Oh, it's Yuna's Celestial Weapon! We got Nirvana. Okay. Sweet. All right, step closer to the celestial weapons. Let's do our spear grid real quick. It's almost time to switch over to Pokemon. And we have not done our spear grid at all this stream.
Let's go back up to the airship. The final showdown. And let's go reap our rewards. So we will get our first celestial weapon because we have all of the pieces for Hydus. I think this is going to be the best way to do it. I can't really quite remember. It's better to go through Makalania or to go through Calm Lands the other direction. Might be better to go through Calm Lands. In fact, I think I might actually run back and do that, do it that way. It's really closer to that end of Makalania than this end of Makalania. Yeah, okay. We'll go back to Calm Lands and go through that way. Final showdown. Oh, thank you. I got some brownies, y'all. Looks like Levi ordered some pizza from Domino's. And you know they got the cookie brownies, so I got some. Okay. Uh, let's go back to calm. Here we go. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Cypher Sway. Welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen you before. Um, if I have, I apologize, but if not, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. We're about to go get Titus's Celestial Weapon, because we got all the pieces for it this stream. It was the Brookie. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got that Brookie love? Brookies are the best. Love me some brookies. It's the best thing at that place. Like, every time we order pizza, my husband's like, what you want for pizza? And I'm like, I want brookies. Yeah, this is way faster to do it this way than to go the other way. All right. So we just go back up here, just like we did when we got the Celestial Mirror. Have you the Celestial Weapons? I have Titus. Yes, complete the ritual. The weapon's power has grown. No, we don't have any others right now. Let's see. No AP double overdrive. So that's when you just apply the crest. So I think I have to do it again to apply the sigil. Have you the celestial weapons? Titus. Yes, we're going to complete the ritual. And attains its maximum power. Okay, so now it doesn't have that annoying. Oh, thank you. Um, it doesn't have that annoying no AP thing anymore. It has all of its skills, so it has break damage limit, which is awesome. I can do more than nine 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 damage as triple overdrive, evade encounter, and magic counter. So beautiful. Also, because it's a celestial weapon, the way it calculates damage is totally different than the other weapons in this game. So it's just all over, like, just better. Like, there's arguments to be made for doing weapon customization in this game to get better weapons for certain, like, optional bosses later in the game. But really, the celestial weapons are the best. Like, for most, most things, like, they're the best. Alright, so, we're gonna save right there. We're going to pick back up next time. Right now, though, we're going to do some Pokemon meme. So. There we go.
Let me exit out the game and get Photoshop going. We are almost done with this meme, you guys. It's crazy. We've been doing it for so long, but also, it's not been that long. Let's clear the chat like we like to do. There we go. Okay, now y'all can see. All right, so we are going to do basically the last row of Gen 5 Pokemon tonight. So we're going to do more than what we typically do. We're going to start with the normal Gen 5. So our choices are Pat Rat line, the Lillipup line, the P-Dove line, um, Audino, um, Minchino, Deerling line, Bofalant line, and Rufflet line. So my favorite of these that I like to put in the normal slot is Deerling because, y'all, there's a pink one. Look, spring form is pink. Oh my god. So there it is right there. I'm going to finish chewing and then we'll read about it. The color and scent of their fur changes to match the mountain grass. When they sense hostility, they hide in the grass. The turning of the seasons changes the color and scent of this Pokemon's fur. People use it to mark the seasons. No, Steam, don't try to update right now. I'm busy. Okay, so that's where Deerling goes. All right, so the next one that we're going to talk about is flying types. So I accidentally had put um, Archon here when we did some Gen 5 Pokemon last time, but he was actually supposed to go in the rock spot, so I went ahead and moved him. So let's actually look at the different flying types for this gen. So we've got P Dove line, we've got Woobat line, Sigilith, Archon line, Ducklet, Emolga, Rufflet, um, Rufflet line, Bulberry line, and then these are some legendaries. But the one I like to put for the flying types, you know, I already have a couple of these on here, right? I already have Archon on here, I already have Emolga on here. But I'm like, I like to put um, Unfazant, and it's the male version of Unfazant. So I'll show you guys what he looks like. You can see this is one of the Pokemon where the male and the female look quite different, and I, I love just the, the head crest that the, they have on the males. Males swing their head plumage to threaten opponents. The female's flying abilities surpass those of the males. Males have plumage on their heads. They will never let themselves feel close to anyone other than their trainers. They're very picky, very picky Pokemon. And this is where he goes, right here. Amber, hey, how's it going? How have you been today? You're just here for some Pokemon meme. We're finishing out this Gen 5 row right here. And then we're going to be very close to finishing. Okay, next we're going to look at the bug types. Let's see, where's bug? Right here. All good, had a nice day off. Oh, man. A day off in the middle of the week. Do you have to work tomorrow? Or was like yesterday like your Friday or something? All right, so the bug types we have for Gen 5 are the Sawaddle line, the Venipede line, a Dwebble line, Carablast line, Joltic line, Shelmet line, um, Durant and Larvesta line. So my favorite out of these is the little hermit crab, the Dwebble. I think he's so cute. So cute, little hermit crab. He's a bug rock Pokemon. So let's read about him. This Pokemon can easily melt holes in hard rocks with a liquid secreted from its mouth. It makes a hole in a suitable rock. If that rock breaks, the Pokemon remains agitated until it locates a replacement. So it's literally a hermit crab, except instead of using shells, it uses rocks. Um, that's really neato. There we go. He goes right there in the bug slot. Next, we're going to look at the fire types, which I, I have a little bit of a pattern here, maybe. Maybe, like, I really like the first evolution of the fire type starters. I'm just saying that maybe I have a thing there. But let's look at what all the choices are. So we have um, the Tepic line, Panseer line, Darumaka line, and Litwick line, and then Heatmore and Larvesta line again. 
So, of course, I'm going to be I'm going to be real predictable. And we're going to go with Tepig. So, here we go. Little fire pig. Little fire pig so cute. Yeah, we're really moving along. Um stay tuned to the end of this because I've got a fun Pokémon thing I'm going to tell you all about. All right. It can deftly dodge its foe's attacks while shooting fireballs from its nose. It roasts its berries before it eats them. It blows fire through its nose. When it catches a cold, the fire becomes pitch black smoke instead. <laughs> so that's fun. When it has cold symptoms, instead of snotting, it smokes. <laughs> All right, let's do the water ones next. Water. Okay, so our choices for Gen 5 water types are the Oshawott line, Hanpour line, Timpole line, um, Basculin, Tirtoga, I think is how you say that one, line, Ducklet line, and Frillish line, and um, Elamola. So I've already got a couple of these on my board, so we got to go with something I don't have. So um, Alamomola is my choice for water type because like, I mean, look at it, it's like a beautiful pink fish. So of course, you know, I'm very attracted to the pink Pokemon. It looks kind of like a little heart, right? A little heart. There's like the little top of the heart and there's the bottom of the heart for its mouth. All right, let's read about it. The special membrane enveloping Alamola has the ability to heal wounds. Floating in the open sea is how they live. When they find a wounded Pokemon, they embrace it and bring it to shore. So it's a healy Pokemon. There we go. Goes in the water spot right there. Okay, let's go to grass next. So our grass choices are... We've got the Snivy line, the Pansage line, Sawaddle line, Cottony line, Petlil line, um, Deerling line once again, uh, Maractus, Fungus, um, and the Pharaoh Seed line. So my choice for the grass Pokemon in Gen 5 is Lilligant. Um, it's beautiful. It's got a flower on its head. Like, it's, it speaks to me in the same way that, like, Blossom speaks to me. It's a flower lady. So, let's read about it. Even veteran trainers face a challenge in getting its beautiful flower to bloom. This Pokemon is popular with celebrities. The fragrance of the garland on its head has a relaxing effect. It withers if a trainer does not take good care of it. That flower on its head is, uh, is really special, really delicate. It's going to go right there. Okay. And then last one for Gen 5, we're going to look at our psychic types. Let's see what our choices are. So our choices are the Moon Align, Woobat Align, um, Zen, Darmantian, Manitan, uh, Sigalith, Goth, Gothita line. This is probably what most people go with. This is a very popular Pokemon. So is this one. Solosis line, um, Ele and then the Elegem line. So again, there's a pink one. So <laughs> uh, my favorite for it here is Muna, little Muna. It's got flowers on it. It's pink. It's freaking adorable. Muna always float in the air. People whose dreams are eaten by them forget what the dreams had been about. It eats the dreams of people in Pokemon. When it eats a pleasant dream, it expels pink-colored mist. And there we go, in that slot right there. All right, so no, we really don't have a lot left. We really don't have a lot left. Um, we can see we've got a, these two right here in the all slot. We've got some Gen 1s left. We've got this slot here. We've got this slot here. And then here, I'll move my camera out the way. We've also got our favorite, most favorite slot here. Actually, let's move just, just make sure my camera's all out the way for next time. I guess it should be, yeah, right there. Okay, so let's actually talk about what we're going to do next on Artistic License. Next, Thursday, we are actually going to finish the Pokemon meme. So we're going to do all those slots that are left and to commemorate finishing this meme that we've been working on for so long, I'm going to play an old Pokemon spin-off game that I sunk a stupid amount of hours into when I was younger. I played the hell out of this game. It's not a super popular um, Pokemon spin-off game, but I want you guys to experience it and see it. It's a lot of fun um, because it's an older game. It was an older handheld game, so very easy to emulate, that sort of thing. Um, it's Pokemon Trozy. So we're going to play Pokemon Trozy. I'm going to show you guys that game, um, Pokemon spin-off game that I think deserves a sequel just like Pokemon Snap does. 
And uh, we're going to finish off the Pokemon meme. So Pokemon and Pokemon next week on Artistic License. Also, for Saturday's stream for Interstage Window, we're going to be playing Jackbox. So it's going to be our community day for the month. Jackbox, if you would like to play with us. Here we go. Party. Okay, there's instructions. You need to get in my Discord, complete the verification, um, and get the party game role in the special access channel. That will give you the rest of the instructions that you need to join in on the voice chat for Jackbox. Now, it's just if you want to join the voice chat. If you just want to come and play, you don't need to do all that. Just show up. Noon on Saturday. We're going to play some Jackbox. All right. So all of that being said, let's find someone to raid, shall we? Let's find someone to raid, y'all. Let's see who's live right now. Who is live? Mm -mm -mm. All right. We bounce to the tip. Quiet, quiet. Shush. Okay. Gamer Goblin's playing Mass Effect. Let's go. Let's go raid Gamer Goblin. I think this is the. This must be the remake version that just came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mass Effect Legends. All right. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on doing some side quests in Final Fantasy X. Pokemon Trozy next week. Jackbox on Saturday. I'll see you there. If you're cool, be there. All right. Okay. Let's go. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to make it a great day.